So I thought it'd be cool to to play one of these and play with Zen mode, where I won't know any of my opponent's ratings. Looks like I'll be doing rapid, but oh, we might see a comeback. A few seconds, 18 to 20. Oh, wow, it's gonna be close. 21 all. Wow, it's a tie. What's the tiebreaker? I guess I'll play I'll play the Blitz tournament because that was my vote. <laughs> okay, so I'm late joining the hourly Blitz. I won't know who I'm playing. And to make it extra spicy, I'm going to play a Gambit every game. Here we go. Okay, I have no idea who I'm playing. I could be playing a strong player or a complete beginner. But we'll see how this goes. I do promise to play a Gambit. G4! What Gambit can I play against G4? This is what Carlson was playing the other day. I play F5. <laughs> okay, this is my Gambit. F5 might be the worst possible move against G4. But the idea is to win back the pawn and accelerate development. Okay, so this is very Grob-like. Queen b3 is in tension. I'll play c6. Play a gambit, you say? Botas gambit is the way Ooh, I to play go. this move too. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit crazier. This is intentional. I'm allowing bishop takes rook. Because I want to get rid of white's only developed piece. After takes takes, white will have nothing developed. Oh, wow. So I have this move. It's kind of risky, though. I'm realizing there there was takes and then queen h5. I have this move. This is getting really spicy. Yeah, there's still... Oh, there's still some issues here. G7... Oh no. I have to go for this. Young children, close your eyes. Sweet Eric, fans go wild. Also quack. It's actually kind of cool. I'm going to lose a, the rook. And so far this game, white has declined taking my rooks, but... Okay, the queen is reborn. Material-wise, I'm down a full rook, but I'm threatening... Wait, can I have this and this? Is white losing a queen? No, I my bishop's pinned. I have this move. Oh no, I have the dreaded spicy cough. Mm. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. I want to play this. I think this is okay. <laughs> Idea queen d3. What a position. All of white's pieces have not moved yet. Including the queen. Because the queen was just born on this square. It has yet to make a move in this game. Until queen c3. Okay, so now I have knight d3. I also have bishop g7. I also have this rook lift idea. I also have this move. So many possibilities. I think queen d5. Looks natural. I have to keep in mind to guess the elo too. Um, it's hard to say. Like I'm, I'm probably objectively worse here. But I'm also maybe having chances. Because white didn't take the rook earlier, I'd, I'd say below 2,000. Okay, now I can take him in the bishop, or check him in the bishop. There's queen d3. How to do this? I'm thinking this move, actually. Oh, there's a crazy line. If 
but it involves trading queens, which I don't necessarily want. Knight g2 doesn't work. I'm playing this move. I'm trying to keep as much tension as possible. Eventually bring the rook in. I mean, white is so underdeveloped here. Yeah, welcome to everyone joining. Uh, this is the first game of the stream. Definitely not the last. Hopefully not the last. Uh, this knight is basically tied down to defending the queen. Except the opponent proves me wrong. But <laughs> now I win the queen. Okay, life is good. I, I gotta guess like maybe 1600, maybe 1500. Um... I'd probably say 1600. Hopefully I can finish this off. Where's my mate? Play this move. Idea of knight h3. Okay, let's see. 2300! I feel bad for under-guessing. 2300. What a funny game. I mean, I was confused that they didn't take the rook, but I guess this e4 was logical. Also, in, in this position, there's there's takes in queen h5. Okay, uh, what a start to the tournament. Let's move on. I played... Wait, does that opening have a name? g4, f5. The Alessi Gambit. It has a name. Wow. Probably named after Mr. Gambit or Mrs. Gambit. Okay, uh, 25th place. Playing again in Zen mode. So for those unaware of Zen mode, I don't know my opponent. I don't know their rating. All I know is it's chess and I'm going to try and play as best as possible, but also as fun as possible. I'm playing an ortho schnapp gambit. The point of the ortho schnapp is to get a more open position. Um, black is declining, taking the pawn, which is playable. But now it takes the pawn. And yeah, generally the point is to like, get this battery against f7. It's already like kind of tricky for black. I'm going to gambit another pawn. Allowing takes with check. Because I just want to accelerate development. I want to get the rooks to the center. And we have another position where... Oh, wow, d2. I have to take with king. We have another position where black hasn't really developed most of the pieces. Uh, I think this move... I mean, maybe knight f3 first. Now let's play this first. I mean, the e-file is completely open. I do have this move. I'm calculating bishop d4, bishop b7, I take on f7. The problem is c5 comes. So I think I'll play king c1. And yeah, there's various directions of attack. There's also the prospect of knight e5. Wow. Hmm. There's a funny line. But how do I make it work? I'm thinking take on f7. I want to play this move with check. Also take on a7 with check. Any bishop move is check. Um, bishop c5. Yeah, let's play bishop c5. 
and then I'll take and now I'm winning material okay this game I'm I'm also guessing like 15 or 1600 I'd say like mid 1500s please don't tell me my opponent's like 2300 again <laughs> uh yeah black black fell victim to the activity in the position I mean to be fair it was a, a difficult position to play out of the opening yeah threatening threatening these sort of things knight's pinned so I want to add attackers now it's no longer pinned but I'm up a piece I'll play this move I mean a lot of pressure points I'll start with this move. Aligning with the king, threatening this. Wow. I mean, I could take the rook, but I'll take first with check. The king is kind of tied down to the knight. The ties have been broken. Okay, uh, 1555, let's see. 1924. Wow, I feel so bad. I'm I'm under guessing completely. Uh I guess the, the gambits are just too powerful though. I was playing in such a style maybe provokes my opponents to blunder more. Okay, my next guess, I'll guess like realistically and then I'll just subtract 400 points. Or uh, no, I'll add 400 points. Uh, I, I have to offset my guesses because <laughs> I'm clearly under guessing. Oh, my Zen mode. Okay, I mean, I saw the I saw the opponent, so um, I'll leave it in Zen mode uh, just so I don't um, don't see the next opponent. So this is actually called the Nozzle Wasp Gambit. There is a pre-move trick, like some players in bullet will pre-move e6. Um, but it's also a gambit because I am allowing bishop takes pawn. And the point of this, I mean, if bishop takes pawn, I would have played d5. So this is essentially a nozzle was declined. I think I still want to treat this as a gambit. I'm allowing pawn takes pawn. And the point is I'll play pawn d5. Just grab space and cut off the bishop. Some idea of bishop b5 with quick development. Okay, aligning with the queen. There's queen b4. And pawn, pawn b4 is not playable. Knight takes e4, queen b4 check. There's also knight b5, which is interesting. It was met with knight a6. I mean, I think I'll start with bishop b5 check, just develop with tempo. And the queen looks very trappable here. Pawn c6. Where is my trickery? I could take the knight. I don't think that really leads to much. I could play this and this. Maybe I'll take first. Just maintain the bishop. No need to overthink this. Thank you, I007D. I want to use the D file. I mean, rook D8's coming. Knight D2 doesn't work. Okay, I have a cool idea, actually. Queen d5. It seems counterintuitive to trade queens when I'm down material. Currently down a pawn. But after it takes, takes, and knight c7 is a threat. So maybe it's justified. Wow, pawn e6. 
So I could take... I think I'll take the queen and win back the pawn. I'll maintain some initiative. Targeting the bishop. And this is kind of a positional threat. Why no music? Because there's cases when I stream where I want to post the video to YouTube and I don't want to get copyright struck. So <laughs> if you want to listen to music, you can open a new tab, but You've been my favorite educational and bedtime content issues. for two years. Ooh. Thank you for all the gambits, the my wholesome pleasure. jokes, the funny lines and calm vibes. My pleasure. Also, for rekindling my love of chess. Also, you bring value to so many people. Also, quack. That's so sad it got cut off. <laughs> there is a character limit to TTS, but I appreciate the words. Cyclist boy. That was a very nice message. Okay, what's happening here? I'm down a little bit of time. But I got the bishop here. And looks like I'm going to... I mean, assuming we trade like bishop f3, bishop a7. I have three connected pass pawns on the queen side. Black has a four on two majority. But, I mean, the pawns combined with the bishop pair should be really nice here. I'm also somehow up a pawn, which I don't exactly know how that happened. I was down a pawn earlier. Okay, let's start pushing. Yeah, maybe the bishop should have gone to c5. If f4, bishop c5, or bishop d4, hit the rook first. I don't mind that the bishop's aligned. The knight's kind of restricted by this bishop. Now keep pushing. I mean, it's a sharp position because black has a lot of storm potential. My king has no legal moves. But it's not easy for the knight to migrate to h3. Okay, so now this is actually an idea. I have to be careful. Uh, maybe this move? Hitting the pawn. Wow. Okay, so now the bishop's hit. Yeah, I'm not sure which elo I would guess for this opponent. I think my opponent's playing like around 1700 strength. Like at some point mishandled things, maybe didn't make any like super obvious blunders, although G3 was a, a nice gift. Okay, I'll take with a rook. Yeah, my opponent's probably rated around 1701. <laughs> Got the accidental peak earlier. Mm, and this looks very strong. So if rook d3, pawn a7, and the king moves, I have rook c7 check and then queening. The eventual mate. Now I'm just trying to find my force mate. Uh, check. And this should be simple enough. Now where's my mate? I want to play bishop e1, rook h4, mate. 
I don't think there's any stopping it. Black could give up both rooks, but it's not quite stalemate because of the e-pawn. There's that move too. Okay, I'll take and make a queen. Thank you to Kulu02. Okay, so just to show, yeah, um, 1701. <laughs> I'm still playing the same opponent. So Zen mode should be on for the next game. So far, I'm three out of three. We had the Alessi Gambit against the Grob. We had the Orthoschnapp Gambit. And then, what was that last one? I was white. What was the opening of that last game? I don't even. Oh, that was a nozzle wasp. Yeah, the nozzle wasp declined. That was a strange one. Okay, new opponent. Opponent taking time. I mean, I'll go for a Stafford if white allows it. I have no idea who I'm playing. Usually, I like if I'm going to play a Stafford, I like to know who I'm playing to kind of gauge how prepared they might be. I like the fact that White took a little bit of time there. And it's taking a little bit of time here, too. Yeah, pawn, pawn e5 is one of the better moves. Against weaker players, I like to play knight e4. Against stronger players, I play knight e5. Bishop e2. Interesting. I'll play bishop f5. So I'm down a pawn, and usually the plan for black after knight d5 is to get some like longer term compensation. Usually go for a sharper position. Like if white castles kingside, then I'll castle queenside. There's already this idea too. Knight b4, knight a3. There's a really funny line. Knight a3, knight a2. Rook a2, queen d5. Let's say rook goes back, queen g2. There's bishop f3, unfortunately. Considering c5 in some of these lines. He's pressuring the pawn. Hey, welcome back to Jerome Gambit, one. please. Okay, next game. <laughs> Maybe next game, depending if my opponent allows it. Okay, so I have three attackers against d4. If d5, I just take on e5. We might expect bishop e3, and then I can take and maybe get the other bishop in. I might take away white's casting rights. For the time being, d4 is still well defended. I mean, bishop d2, I would take and win d4. King f1, kind of an ugly move for white. But probably the best move. Not sure what to do, considering queen h4. I think I'll play queen h4. I feel like this is the most flexible move. Because there are cases where I would just want to play rook d8 and target d pawn. Also pin the d pawn. Like rook d8 would threaten to take on e5, maybe. Thank you to Honeyham. Knight c2 is a move that does allow takes and takes. I lose c7 at some point. There's queen c4, actually, which might be deadly. Okay, so now the plan is to play bishop b6. And attack the pawn with the bishop, knight, queen, and eventually rook.
I think it makes sense to take. I might even Queenside Castle. And this attacks both pawns. Although I'm not sure if I'm actually threatening this because queen f5. And d4 is defended three times now. Wow. Queen f5 here, I have rook d7. So queen h3. Well, now I have queen h3 preventing queen f5, and then knight takes pawn. I think this is okay. And there's queen b5. At the very least, I have knight c6. At the very most, I have some like crazy checkmate. Still kind of far away from mate, though. Queen b5, I probably play queen h5. It's actually looking really nice. Also realizing uh, queen b5 of queen g4, queen e4. Hitting various things. Okay, let's start with queen g4. Actually realizing white took a lot of time to play king f1, and king f1 was the only move, which makes me think the rating is less than 2,000. Mm, I'd maybe guess like 1,800. Okay, I'm throwing maiden one here. He might play an interesting opening. Definitely above average player. Maybe like 1850. I've been so bad with guessing today. Watch it be like 2400. Maybe I should say 1900. Such a feel good position. So I'm no longer down a pawn. The pieces are fully optimized. I could take the, what's the best way to do this? I'll take this first. I'm winning a bishop in the end. The sad rook on g2. Rooks do not like to be feeding kettled because they're just blocked by pawns. Rook d2 is an idea. My goal is to mate before white flags. Where's my mate? G. I want to play G4 checkmate. Where's my mate? Oh, there's a funny mate. Rook h4 checkmate. It's not checkmate. <laughs> okay, let's see. 1900? 1900. 1669. Okay, I overguessed. At least I don't feel as bad overguessing compared to underguessing. Good game to rookie move. I think I recognize that name. Oh, wow. 
If I want to win this tournament, I I might have to start berserking. Oops. Okay, I didn't see the name. Um, <laughs> forgot to turn back on Zen mode. Uh. I'll berserk. This might be a risk, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and win the tournament. Plan on berserking back. Okay, I'm gonna go for Halloween. Happy Halloween. I feel like I'm playing a strong player. C six is maybe some theory. Although D five, I thought is the most theoretical move. So Halloween Gambit, it's um, it's a very seasonal opening. I'm I'm down a piece, but there's some interesting forms of compensation. That's a good move. I might slow play this a little bit. Good idea, Knight G three. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting long term compensation. Wow, what a move. Okay, Black has one piece developed on each four. G6 is very wise. I really want to sack more. You see four? Bishop B3 first. Yeah, this, this, and eventually casting. I gotta defend though. King F1. Change of plans. This is going to very quickly turn into a bullet time scramble. Got to preserve my time. Can I take that? That's just a trade, though. My five, yeah. I'm holding on to my bishop. There's some idea to play g4. Not sure if I can make it work. Wow, king of eight. Takes, takes. I'm still just down a piece. But such a close position that the extra piece for black doesn't mean so much. Like right away. Um, black is clearly a good player though. Grabbing space in all directions. Wow, the knight's trapped. I didn't even realize that. Just accidentally trapped the knight. This knight is almost trapped too. Because I'm mating. Okay, now somehow I'm up a piece. I went from being down a piece to up a piece. Trick or treat. Happy Halloween. Oh no, my rook. Oh no, your queen. That was very poetic. I mean, my opponent had to be like over 2,000, maybe like 2,300. Let's see. Okay, 2,220. I didn't see the rating of the opponent. Um, it's back in Zen mode. Uh, okay, still undefeated. 
First place lost their first game, so gives me some hope of coming back. I will berserk the next game. Oh, I still have to play a Jerome for the request from earlier. Oh, and thank you, Onyx a dog. Happy ten months. How do you do Zen mode? Um, the simple way is to press Z, but you can also change it in your settings. Okay, England Gambit time. Uh, let's play this in D6. E4 is a fine move. This is actually what the Nepo zombie bot played against me recently. In this uh, zombie speed run. Play this. I'm trying to like to figure out if this if playing with Zen mode is actually like changing the way I play. Because sometimes I do judge or I, I do like have my opponent's rating affect my playing style. Like sometimes I'll I'll be reckless if I'm playing someone much lower rated. But I, I always have to assume my opponent is like a, a strong player. And I have to play a little bit more controlled, even though I'm playing a lot of like Ultra aggressive, dubious gambits. So I won back the pawn. I have some damage structure, but I don't think it's so bad. But the queen on e7, castle. I mean, we'll probably see this in this. I might wind up with another set of double pawns. Yeah, we're getting some endgame. Almost looks like white can win a pawn. Yeah, knight a5, I can't defend c6. Opponent's not biting, though. Uh, let's play this. Actually, wait. Annoying move. Let's play this. I'm I'm in some trouble here. But how bad is this? Knight a five rook e rook to g four. It's actually a funny trap. I will say if knight a5 earlier, I had bishop e4, so I was hoping my opponent would play that. That's a good move. Yeah, I feel stuck. I have this move, rook e6, kind of holding on. Yeah, it's not a fun position. Always play bishop f8. I'm still holding on though. Like c5. Really ugly move. But it opens up defense of um, this pawn. Maybe I'll bring the king in. White's played a good game so far. He really has done nothing wrong. Check. I really need to get to counterplay somehow. 
Mm, let's play this. Good move. I'd, I'd love to trade off the bishop, even if I do lose a pawn. Oh, that's a great move, too. I'm getting completely ground down. Okay, I'm only down two pawns. Soon to be three pawns. Okay, I have my alpha zero pawn. Not sure if that will save me. White's played a really good game. Just a little bit slow though. Get some counterplay. There we go, okay. Oh. What a save. What's my opponent's reading? It's gotta be like 2400? Maybe 20, 2350. Let's see. Oh, 2350, let's go. 2342. Back to tournament. I held on. Uh, Yes, uh, that player is... A little bit behind me in standings. Okay, less than six minutes left. Man, what a game. I won't play really well that game until until stalemating me. Okay. I'll play d4 here. This is a so-called Brunstein Gambit. When you combine the Queen's Pawn with a Grob. Opponent does not seem phased by this. There's a funny idea to lift the rook. It's probably really dubious, but I mean, I just want to use a G file. I can double on the G file too. The benefits of not having a G pawn. Okay, I'm playing a four pawns attack. So this rook just migrated to g3. We might see bishop h4. I don't think I would mind that though. Play pawn h4? Pushing all my pawns so early. Uh, I don't want to trade. Let's play b, b3. 
smiling. Okay. This is a cool position. I have a lot of space. And black is still pretty solid though. That should stalemate trap be worth 10 tournament or tournament or tournament points. It's so satisfying. That was very well satisfying. Well played and warm greetings from, from Liverpool, Liverpool, Eric. Thank you, Fing Duster. I think I can take here. And if takes, I take. It gets really tricky, though. I might just be winning a piece. That's a fork. And there's some crazy queen. The queen of six, bishop d4. I mean, it's actually kind of crazy. I guess queen f6, I have 94. Yeah, this is looking nice. Still have plenty of time. I've moved all my pawns so far. I don't know what move number it is because <laughs> Zen mode also hides notation. Yeah, this is probably going to crumble really quickly for black because there's a lot of holes on the king side. Okay, I'm guessing 1900? 2100. Taktiko. Okay, there's time for one more game. I'm in second place. It's not possible for me to overtake first. I'll try and make the next game count for the tournament. I might play the person in first place. Although, I guess I won't know until after the game. <laughs> no, the first place is playing, though. Do oh, pairings are closed. Okay, well, that's a tournament for me. Do oh, I got passed by a person from the country of Lichas. Anyway, that was a fun tournament. Um, it's not officially over. Hopefully, I can maintain my third place standing. Third place. That was fun. I hope people enjoy that. It was fun to combine Gambits and Zen Mode and guess ELO. So the average rating of my opponents was over 2,000. My average ELO guess, I think, was under 2,000. Like my first couple opponents, I had guessed in like 15, 1600s. Okay, so if I put this on YouTube, uh, shout out to everyone watching in the future on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. It does help the channel. And my goal for, for YouTube is to hit 600,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.